she's in labor and she's been pushing so she's 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 working on making progress she's a first timer so i like to give them a little more of a wider berth and they've actually been here um they're her and this girl here tori they're both a little bit spookier yet um they came to us from a sale in oklahoma and we basically, we quarantined them for two weeks and then we put them in the breeding pen and they got, they were bred um, right away. And so they haven't been here very long and they're both still a little spooky, but they'll calm down with time. So between this being her first time and just, you know, being a little hesitant of me, I'm, I'm going to give her just a little bit more space unless I'm convinced that she needs help. But uh, I do like to be out here with them. Um... But so, so Tori and this is Tori, I should say. Tori and Sunny have um, a little bit different stories behind them. So we picked them up from a pretty major sale in Oklahoma. And this sale, so when Brandon and I, when we buy, um, when, when we buy goats, we do a lot of research. So we research the breeder, we research the genetics, the sale. Um, we're very picky on their age and their build and everything. I mean, this is something we sit down at the kitchen table for, you know, at least a week straight going through. Um, or even if we buy privately, you know, we go through and, and uh, here, hold on. Since she's not doing anything right now, I thought maybe I should just speak to the camera. Um, but we go through uh, pretty carefully when we make a purchase to make sure that we're making a good purchase for our farm and our program. And um, with these two girls, so we had picked up one girl that we really wanted. That's Haley from, from this sale. But then these two girls, they were on our list, um, but they only had a couple pictures up. And... Um, at least Sunny had a, a more simple pedigree, um, but you know, she's a full blood and she was the right age. And by her picture, we were like, okay, you know, she's, she's the build and the type of doe that we want. Well, so when, um, actually no, it was Tori first. So Tori came up, it was, we bought, so we, we bought these goats, um, sight unseen, which we never do. And th this has been a lesson learned. Um, we don't plan on selling them. Um, we're we're going to give both of them a chance here. Um, but these girls, let's just say if this particular farm that they came from, if they tried to give us goats, if they tried to give us a herd of goats, we would not take them. Because um, these two girls, so... Tori was one, um, our, our broodier of the two. She was one that we, that we really wanted. We liked her pictures. Um, that's all there was. We liked her pedigree. Well, when she came up for sale, we really got her for a steal. And, you know, we, I was really happy with her. Um, when we got her home, there was something, something wrong with the way she walked. And I just assume, you know, sometimes animals get injured in transport because obviously she came from Texas to Oklahoma, um, then up to Nebraska. And so, you know, I just assume, okay, well, we'll just, you know, give it um, a week or so and I'm sure it'll work itself out. It's not. I, I had someone out here and when they were, um, when they were ultrasounding, she said that it looked like there was something um, either she had been injured or there was something genetically or confirmationally wrong with her hips. And that's why she walks strange. And cause it, at that point we'd already had her for two or three months and obviously it didn't go away and it didn't act like an injury. And so, um, I don't want to assume, but I think they placed her on the sale, hoping to pull a fast one on on us, not on us, but on whoever bought her. And they did, um, because she, she does have something wrong with the way she walks. Um, but she's otherwise fine. And then the other goat that we bought from the same farm, um, they used, cause they had a couple others listed and I can't believe, I just felt so stupid. I cannot believe that we, that we, I, I did not notice, but see all of their goats were so similar and all the pictures were taken almost exactly the same way. I didn't even notice. They actually used 
Tori's pictures in Sonny's part of uh, on where her description and picture and stuff would be. And, um, sorry, I got something in my eye. And anyway, so we thought with everything that we were looking at Sunny, we weren't looking at Sunny, we were looking at um, pictures of Tori. And so that's why we bought Sunny, because we thought Sunny looked like Tori. Well, it, it, they never put pictures up of Sunny, and the reason they didn't put pictures up of Sunny is because Sunny um, has a, either, either her face, e they claimed uh, that her face was stepped on as a kid. I don't know, but she has a facial deformity, which I'm sure at some point you'll see in this video. Um, and my point is we spent, she went for, for cheap in terms of Borgo prices. Um, but there's a reason why she went. I, I we never would have spent what we did on her if we would have known. So, um, we feel a, a little taken by this farm in more ways than one. And so, but these girls, um, we're definitely going to give them a chance. They do have very calm personalities. They just need some more time here. And so, um, lots of lessons learned. So if there's one thing that you can learn from us, it's that look at the animals, request videos, um, talk to the, talk to the breeders. That was one thing we didn't do this time. We had just done all the other research and we're like, okay, you know, I think we'll be happy with these two. And we definitely feel like we were taken. So just learn from our mistakes is, is the best advice that I can give with this situation. But okay, she's making progress. Let me zoom in here. I'm gonna try and get a little bit closer. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, you're right there, Mom. You're doing so yes. Good job, Mama. It sure seems like there's just going to be one, one kind of, one kind of average sized boy. I mean, which is good. That's, I mean, that's good for a first timer. I'm probably not the typical goat owner, possibly. I don't know. I kind of like my first timers to have twins. Um, well, I like them that I like them to have twins so that they're they're possibly both a little bit smaller because usually when they're twins or triplets, they're you know each kid's a little bit smaller, but. First timers seem to be the best at raising singles, so it's you know it's kind of a catch twenty two. Um, and she definitely has an udder that's perfect for a single. So, so yeah, he was he's he's a go getter. He's doing good, and and I didn't get it. She's let him nurse here now a couple times, and 
Yeah, he's a he's a perfect little boy. He's got lots of gusto, so he's still getting his sea legs figured out, but yeah, she's a good mom. Tried to charge me a handful of times, so kudos to her. Um, but anyway, yeah, we got another one in the books, and now we just have Miss Tori down there. She's the last one to go, so and then that's it for this group, and no more until late February, early March.